What's up guys? It's Christian Harbor here with another video on what the heck? <laughs> Sorry guys. So we got another video on gaming today on Roblox. And today I'm gonna show you a bunch of simple tricks and tools today for to get your place liked. And I just started this place and I've already got 184. And we I'll show you guys. So I opened up my uh Open up my studio and see I'm in here. See? So you guys, some of you guys are like, well, how do I select how do I select um multiple blocks? Some of you guys do not know how to do that. And I'm gonna show you how right now, today. So what you guys wanna do is you uh you wanna hold down you wanna hold down shift. Or like so like let's do the let's do the uh let's say I wanna scale it so I can show it so it shows you. It lets you select multiple blocks at the same time so that and so that you can uh, change them or move them or any other way you want and uh so yeah that's about it for that and um so here's a like a waterfall and you guys check out great big granny's video he shows you how to make awesome waterfalls so uh Oh, a couple things uh is that with landscape like this with these balls you can uh change them like so if i hit see let's say if i hit whoa, 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 whoa. if i hit run it takes a sec to load it's a huge game with a maze So if you guys notice, these are moving. Now, this is supposed to resemble like magma. So all these are like constantly moving along with this one. All of them are moving. All the ones in here are moving. As you can see, the same is for this decal. Because it is so sick. So once you go inside, you see they're like constantly spinning around you. So what you want to do is, I'll show you guys. Um, so this is the auto spin script. It's okay. So this is the auto spin script, and by the way, these are just a bunch of zeros or zero, 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 one to help it so it doesn't go too fast. So all you have to do is while true do script and just copy, just copy this. Um, I might put the I'll put it in the uh I'll put the script in the d description so you guys can uh just copy it. For the auto spin script, so you can just take it and put it in whatever you want, and you'll get the spin effect. Trust me. And some of you guys are like uh, teleporters, like so. Some of you guys want to make custom teleporters because the free. Trust me, the free models suck. And I'll show you guys. So guys, this is a custom teleporter. Now the reason it like it sh it shows that big area. So let me click it. Right. Show that big area is because I put two groups. These two. So what you want to do is like when you make it, you can make a teleport or whatever you want, make it look as cool as you want. But to make it teleport you there, um, uh oh, no, no, no. I screwed up. One sec. And of course I have been land by them. And of course I've been land by them. So let me hit stop. And let's just hit play. It takes a sec to log. Big game. Sorry, I've said that a lot. It just does this. And there's a lot of stuff and there's a lot of big scripts. Hmm. 
What the heck? Stuck. I think it's stuck. Of course, Roblox does not want to respawn. I mean, respawn at the time. There we go. Sorry, guys, about the wait. It just happened. Come on, load me, load me, load me. Okay, this is kind of pathetic. Roblox to you must be seriously screwed up because I do not look like this. Well, to show you guys, you go through here, give it a moment, and then you teleport. See, you guys, you, you teleport into the other one. Now, give you gotta give it a moment. Gotta give it a sec. And I'll teleport you right back here. It has a wait time on it. I don't know why. I've tried taking it down to like the tiniest second. And it just has a wait time. Yep, see? So these te these teleporters, I can I'm not gonna show you how to make the I'm not gonna custom make these for you. I mean I might if you really if like you pick me or something or Robux. But but they are they work by connecting the center the center piece of this the very center piece right here um you connect that with the other one you you put the very center piece of the a, a and b in a group and you just insert a value and a script you don't need the value i mean actually you do need the value so that it'll so they'll do it and you just take the script and you and i'll, I'll show you the script i'll probably paste the script in the the, the script in the description if you guys want, I'll uh, put it on here for a short amount of time. If you guys just want to like pause the video or something, you guys can do that too. So, yeah. So let me. S oh no, 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 no! I just paused there right in the middle of the script. That's not good. Um, I'm gonna stop. Now, guys, I'm gonna show you how to make these. So, um, I'm not gonna like make these for you. Like, I'm not gonna like show you like how to exactly make these. <coughs> Cause these took me like 15 minutes to make just one of these, and then I just copied them. But so these you can like, you can make it custom customize it however you want. But what I'm gonna show you. It's how to script it. So, really, just copy this down. I'll uh might post it in the description. So what you yeah. So what you want to do is you want to want to take oh whoa. You want to take the center one, connect it to the other center one that's up there. This very center part is the very tr translucent part, and you want to connect it to up there to the other one. Wherever, you, wherever the second one is. So then you want to insert a script into those two because you just want the two A and B. So this is B, and you just want to, you want to take those and put them in a model, even though even though they're in this. Like you want you want these two separate. You just you don't want them grouped, but you must make sure they're anchored. So so here's a script. Um, I'll leave this up for about a minute or two. Let you guys uh copy it down, do whatever you need. Um, I'll, I might post it in the description. I probably won't, just so you guys can do this. Cause some of you guys are like, some guys are like, you can't see, you can't see these. Like some, they, and very, they look like lines sometimes. These are equal signs. So these, like, anytime you see like a line or lines like these, these are equal signs. So yeah, guys, just copy that down. I'm gonna let it sit here for a couple minutes. And just do what you need to do. Alright guys, hopefully you paused it and copied it down. So now we're gonna now we're gonna show you in the value. So this is the important part. You must when you insert when you insert an object, 
this. It just says value. I'm gonna tell you guys you can you can insert the bool value to do this. So so that you can uh make these. And I recommend making different colors and the transparency 0.5 so it looks like a teleporter. And that is how to make yourself a teleporter. I should probably lock. So yeah, that's how you make teleporters. Now, I got another tip for you guys is uh making uh actually I don't know how. Actually, my friend helped me do it, but so what we have here is a shop that we made and there is a part. Oh yeah, I just put those in there. Shop one. These dim lights, black walls, make shop front. Make shop front, make shop front. Like this. Where is it? <laughs> Where is it? Come on. Eric, is that it? It's a decal. What? Oh. Oh, that's, oh, it's got a decal in. You guys can't see it. Where? Can, why can't you guys see it? Huh. There's a decal in there, and I don't know why it's not showing you. Is this it? Huh. I have no idea where it's at. Oh, there it is. Here it is, guys. So this is a um, this is a sign just for you guys called Melee's Weapon Shop. This is uh, he'll help this. I want to show you guys how to do this. So what you want to do is you want to make a block or part. If you want, you can make it invisible. I would not recommend that. So what I would do is insert a surface VUI. Now, if you want, you can copy all of this down. It doesn't matter. Uh, and in, in, in the in the surface view in the surface GUI. This is what you want to insert. You want to insert this text box. This text box you can make like I want. You gotta make sure it's make sure it's active. And so you can just do whatever you want with it. I recommend this so it's with the other one or whatever the surface GUI is for canvas size. I recommend doing that and just do what you're gonna do. Um, this is how I make it. So that's how we do it. So guys, if you liked the video, please like and subscribe and ask us for any more tips or tools or anything or anything you would like. Oh wow, he looks kind of ugly for some reason. Um tips and tools, um, anything you want, I can open the game up. Uh to uh the game is open. I'll post the game link in the description and yeah so yeah guys so like and subscribe and i will see you later uh-oh